We're at the grandparents' house. Now you probably wondering why we're here because nobody else is home. It's just me, Connor and Baby in the grandparents' house. And it's actually because a lot of this story starts in this room. So being a mum now, I have decided that I really need to overcome a lot of things in my life. And ever since I was a little girl, I have struggled with social anxiety, but I didn't actually start having panic attacks until I lived here. This room didn't look like this at the time, but I actually started getting panic attacks because, sorry Rachel, I know she's not gonna like this because she doesn't like me speaking about it, but um, we had bed bugs. Connor and I slept together in this room when we were just starting out social media, you know. We were living together in Connor's parents' house. Our big double bed was here. And Connor had gone camping be even before I'd moved in. We're talking like months before I'd moved in. Connor went camping and he brought back a pillow with him that he kept under the bed because it was one of them beds that lifted up. And in that pillow lived bed bugs. He brought bed bugs back with him from camping. <laughs> And for months, I was coming up with these ridiculous rashes all over my body. I was like, oh, what's wrong with me? Am I allergic to the detergent? What is it? And yeah, it turns out they were crawling up from under the bed. They were biting me. I was having an allergic reaction. Connor was also being bit, but he wasn't allergic to the bites, which is why he was not coming up with anything. And then he actually pulled the pillow out for me one night because I wanted an extra pillow. He left to go to work and I was, I was lay on this pillow for hours, by the way, until I noticed that there was bed bugs crawling out of the pillow into my hair and stuff. So yes, great memories in this room. But little did I know that would be the cause of my panic attacks. Now I actually had no idea that bed bugs could cause anxiety, but like I said, ever since I was a little girl, I have had social anxiety. I couldn't go to the till to pay for my own stuff. I was too nervous, stayed fright, can't talk in front of large crowds. If I had a parcel to send, I'd always have to send one of my friends in for me. Unable to do things for myself. And obviously as I've got older, I'm a lot more confident now and I can do a lot of those things. But there are still some things that I am extremely uncomfortable with, especially socially. I was unable to get ready this morning, so I'm wondering if maybe I could steal some of Connor's, Connor's mum's makeup. I'll be back. And I now deal with postpartum anxiety or postnatal anxiety, which basically just means I constantly think there's something wrong with me, also known as hypochond hypochond hypochondriac. I don't think I'm recovered, basically. We've been talking to the leaves outside as well. This is where I had my first panic attack. Oh wow. Isn't you, mean, it you mean stroke? I had a trapped nerve. One side of my arm went completely numb. Long story, I thought I was having a stroke, okay? I thought I was having a stroke at the age of, how old was I, 21? Yeah, it was, yeah a it, was a, it was a trapped nerve. I was so convinced that I was having a stroke that I had the biggest panic attack ever. That was my first ever panic attack. I live to tell the tale. <laughs> Exactly! And the trap nerve was caused by that building there. Oh, it's dark, isn't it? This is my son, his name's Cozy. Oh, God. Okay. And this is the cabin that we spent, how long were we in here? Long enough. Yeah, too long. Six, seven, six months. We lived in here for half a year on an air bed because we couldn't afford, we had to get rid of the whole bed because it was infested with bed bugs. We had no so money. We had no money. We had to live on an air bed for six months and save up for a bed. And that is how I got the trap nerve. I mean, a lot more happened in this room, but we'll save that for another time. <laughs> like so much whilst we were living in here. It's not exactly the nicest place to live. I mean, it's a lovely, lovely space, but not when it's your bedroom. And your living room. And your garden. And your, and your workspace. And, and your, your toilet. I'm joking, it wasn't that. It wasn't the toilet, it no. Wasn't. No, no. So with permission, I have asked, and I'm allowed to use Connor's mum's makeup. So that's gonna be interesting. I wonder if she's got primer. Oh, I think we do have a primer. Baby skin instant pore eraser. Yes, Rachel. But look, she's got posh primer. Ursalon. Sorry. So the version of anxiety that I have decided that I want to tackle the most is the social anxiety because obviously 
I've got a little baby now. I'm his advocate. Obviously, he's got Connor, but I need to be able to do things for myself. So we've had a couple of incidents where people have come and like touched him without asking, and obviously it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, especially being in the winter season. I don't know who these people are. They're strangers to me, so I don't want them touching my baby. It's as simple as that. But when it happens and there's no time for me to respond, so it's not like, hi, is are you okay if I touch your baby because he's so cute? When I don't get that initial question and I can't explain myself, I don't get time to think. If someone just comes in to try and touch Cozy, I go into panic mode, I start having a panic attack. So that is something I've got to work on. I need to start being able to use my voice, especially in public. It has to be done. I can't do phone calls. That's another thing I can't do. I hate having to phone somewhere and speaking to anyone to sort out anything. My bank card got blocked once because I tried to buy something and it got blocked. And it was like, to unblock it, please phone this number. And I was like, no, I can't do it. I think my bank card was blocked for like a whole month because I didn't want to phone them and sort it out. I tried everything. I even went into the branch. I'd rather speak to someone face to face than actually have to do a phone call with them. I hate being stopped on the street or any random person speaking to me, unless obviously it's one of you guys, but I still, I'm still very awkward as well. So like, if you come and talk to me, I'm like, hi. I've been reading up on it. I've been reading up on it. Here's what we're gonna do. Symptoms of social anxiety. Oh, we all know all of this, yep. Hates conversations with strangers. Speaking on the phone, yep, 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 yep. Worry about social activities or group conversations. Absolutely, can't do anything like that. Can't speak in front of large crowds. Um, I've never been to like, um, they were like, oh, you can go to mummy groups if you want. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. No, I'm not going to mummy groups. No, thank you. My anxiety will not let me do stuff like that. You find it difficult when people are watching you. Yes, I can't eat if I'm being watched. Panic attacks. So my panic attacks, unless it's kind of something to do with people trying to touch cozy, my panic attacks only come on when I'm overthinking about sort of like morbid things or like things that are happening with my own body. Or if I'm in dimly lit rooms, it seems like, like, I've got astigmatism, so I think some sort of dark lightings, overcrowded places and warm places can bring on a panic attack. Oh, I had multiple, I had a panic attack. Connor took me to Lewis Capaldi. He surprised me and got tickets to Lewis Capaldi a couple of years ago. I had the biggest panic attack in the middle of the crowd. And then I, we also went to go and see Busted, which he surprised me with. And I got right to the front and I was so excited. They hadn't come on yet and I almost fainted. I don't think this whole makeup thing is going to go very well. Rachel has primer, but she's got no concealer, except for this very dark orange one, and she's got no foundation. What am I supposed to do? So much primer, but nothing to go with the primer! Okay, we've got bronzing pearls. Now, I haven't seen bronzing pearls in years. Glittering loose eyeshadow with a built-in brush. What is that? I love old-fashioned makeup. <gasps> she never used her hula. That's upsetting. I gave her this. So Liana's been testing herself um, and seeing what limits she can go to with her social anxiety things she struggles with. So earlier we went to our local shopping center so that we could get a Starbucks and Liana went in by herself. You challenge yourself to order the drinks by yourself yeah. and have a conversation with one of the staff well, members. Well I tried to have a conversation with him but he wasn't having it. Whilst I stayed in the car with Cozy so you were all by yourself and you did well. I'll take an oat shaken oh, espresso no. please. Okay. Iced oat shaken espresso. And I'm going to sit here nice and cushy waiting for you to get back <sighs> this is it and I have to make conversation as well right I have you, to ask how they you want to yeah you want to make conversation so you can kind of step out of your comfort zone a okay. little bit I can do this but obviously I'm a lot more comfortable when Connor is with me yeah, yeah. we've been here before all the people in there are lovely there's no way that they're not gonna want a conversation no, with you yeah. the conversation probably makes their day better yeah. when I worked in retail I loved having a I combo worked in retail I don't know what happened to me right well gear up and get the drinks that's what adulting is so is that door a push or a pull? It literally says on the door, babe, you'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. I'm scared. Don't be scared. What, you want a large oak shaken? A large, shaking? please, yeah. Large you'll be fine, I promise. Oak shaken brown sugar espresso. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need the card. Okay. I would have cried. Can you imagine if I went there and I didn't have anything to pay with? Please pull. Oh, that's always good. A large oat shaken yeah. and a large cappuccino with two pumps of sugar free carrots. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing? In the car pin. Yeah. Do you know what? Easier 
and harder than I thought in like different areas of parenting. It, yeah, I mean, but yeah, it's like life was like, here you go, here's your recovery. And he still sleeps through the night, so I can't complain. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm so glad she came to speak to me because otherwise that would have been really bad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the Arna cam didn't work. I got fobbed off the first time. So I went to him and I went, I said, hi, how's your day going? Hello, how's your day going? He just blanked. <laughs> he didn't say anything. It wouldn't even make eye contact with me. But then the woman who always asked about baby was in there and then she came to have a chat with me. So it kind of saved the day. And I was going to ask for a random drink, but then I panicked because he was a bit standoffish with me. So how do you think it went? Bad. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I've got four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. What? But I asked for two pumps of sugar-free caramel. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How does someone get that so wrong? Do you want me to go and get it exchanged? Because you're not going to drink that. I'll go and get you one, baby. So Connor subconsciously offered to go and exchange my drink for me because he knows that I wouldn't have gone to do it. I don't when know why I've done that. We should have made you I go should back have had, in. Yeah, I should have gone back in to complain. Ah, such a rookie. It doesn't matter, though, because you know what? It's because you love me. And it's you, baby steps. Yeah, uh, but that was such a good thing. You did it all by yourself. I wasn't even near you. Even if you did get blanked at the till. I sound pathetic, don't I? No, not really. You'd be surprised how many people feel the same. My my mum is exactly the same. She's worse, isn't she? She's quite um, shy, timid, socially awkward. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like I am. It's a step closer to asking for your own Starbucks every time. Okay, are you almost ready for your second challenge? She's challenging herself now. Are you okay? Are you okay, baby? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Second challenge, Liana wants to step out of her comfort zone and compliment people. Yeah, but I don't want to just compliment people for the sake of complimenting it if I don't mean it. So as soon as Cozy's fed, we'll head on out into the rain and start telling people that they look great today. Cozy's first time in his water cover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's so confused. Cozy needed new books because mummy's read them off. <laughs> okay, I've, I've seen a woman with really nice, like, reddish hair. But there's Mog the cat. Hello, how's your day going? Good, thank you very much. I've lost the woman that I was going to compliment. Although the woman at the till was very nice. I will say it's hard to compliment people when it's raining and yeah, cold. Yeah, moving so fast. Everyone's moving really quickly and everyone's cars? like, <laughs> like this, like trying to get into their cars because it's just raining and cold. I'm not being funny, but everyone here looks like they don't want to be disturbed. Does that oh, make yeah, sense? Yeah, that is literally how humans are oh, these days. Okay. I love your outfit. Sorry, it looks so cool. I love your outfit. Oh, which one is? Oh, okay. I can't even find which door opens. This isn't going well. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because I feel like if I'd say something to some people, they would take me the wrong way. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You've got a really cute baby. Thank you. Yeah, she's His nice. mother must be very beautiful. No, his father is very handsome. Oh, are you the father? Yeah. Oh. I am extremely upset at how that went. <laughs> Everyone was soaking wet with their hood up, yeah, running in the rain because it was so cold. Hello, baby like I didn't want to offend anyone it's by going, okay. oh, I think your hair's really nice yeah. when they know for a fact their hair's like soaking wet from the rain. Like I didn't want to be ingenuine and compliment someone that I didn't genuinely I mean you. to compliment. And some people didn't like want to make eye contact. So this day isn't going well for me. No, yet. you've done well. You've done well. We're so. And now she's gonna book my filling in for me. I need a filling in my tooth. I'm not being funny. I think I'm more nervous about the phone call. Phone call? There's something about phone calls that are I, just the worst. I can't do phone calls. No. I, I hate them. Yes. I would rather go in in person. Even I hate phone calls. They're not going to know who I am. They don't see me. They don't know what I look like. Nope. Or anything. And they also take a million phone calls a day. They don't they, care. Yeah, they don't. They couldn't Even care. Even if less. you stutter on the phone, uh, I've, I got fi I've got a fit. I've got a fit. They won't care. Wait, no, can you tell me what I need to say? Okay, though? you just need you, to say, You've paid for Hello, paid my boyfriend's for... paid for a fill in. I'm just ringing to see if I can book, book his it. slot for him. You don't have to say it exactly like but, that. But just what, say it's simple. But when are we available? Well, I don't know. Oh, Lord. Just say, Have you got anything two weeks from now? Oh, God. Uh, I hate it. Please hold to be connected to the next available representative. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I'm also right here as well, so. I know. My boyfriend's paid for a filling. I was just wondering if I could book it in for him, please. Yeah, sure. What's the surname, please? Is Darlington. Sorry, Darlington. 
Connor. Yes. And the first name? Is Connor. Silver, I believe. Just gonna check the next available. I've got Tuesdays November at five. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, okay, that's all booked in for you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Thank you, bye. Woo! You did it! Yay! Yeah, you did it! Why did you want silver? Is that what you paid for? It's cheaper. Oh, I and could have because said white, it's in a, they wouldn't know. It's in a place where you won't see you it. You can't see it. I, I'm wet under my armpits now. That's really nice. Do you want some uh, deodorant? Yeah, I have, I have deodorant on. Oh, you didn't mess up once, you nailed it. See what I mean though? They get that all day, they're just like, uh yeah, name. Oh yeah, she, she sounds It is towards the end of the day. She's had enough of phone calls. Yeah. Because how many people like annoy Bring them on the phone oh, as well? Yeah, like right. Well it's not good enough, is it? I need to be booked in at this time on this day. But it's like all the build up and you you do the phone call and then after it's like, oh. Why was I so worried about yeah. that? Nothing happened. Yeah. No, we yeah. all we listen, there's so many people out there that are exactly the same. How do you feel? Exhilarated, happy, proud, yes. proud of yourself, wet. <laughs> One thing that I am adding to our list, when I have an event come up next, what are you doing? I am gonna go to it by myself. Oh, okay. I Rather have than refused, turning them down. I have refused every single event that I have been invited to because I don't have the confidence to go by myself. Even though most of them have said that I could tag along. Yeah, but some of them just weren't. Interesting for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? You've done really well today. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. Oh, what's wrong? Why are you giving me that face for?